Hi guys, so here we are at Morris Lubricants uh, Blending job. Plant in Shrewsbury. Okay, so this is uh, one of the final stages, okay, before the customer gets to see his goods. Okay, so this is one of the filling lines. So this is a dedicated filling line, and this one, as you can see, is now set up for 205 litres, okay? So, oh, would you fill IBCs on this then? Um, th no, we have, a set, we have actually a dedicated station for filling IBCs and demand. What else would you tanks. fill in here? Would you fill 25 litres? We can do 25 litres and 20 litres on this as oh, well. Oh, would you? Well, this is primarily our 205 litre filling line. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Because so, yeah, yeah. we have other filling lines which will do other pack sizes as well. But So it's quite flexible. Would the majority of your stuff be 205 litres? 205 litres is our main business. Okay. Certainly, okay. In, okay. Term, in terms of the, the kind of products we produce. Yeah. Um, so this one's set up for filling. Um, so we haven't started yet because we have one final QC check. So before we actually start putting any oil in any container, we take a final sample from the filling head that you can see there. That's taken to the laboratory. QC checked, yeah. and providing that passes, then the operator can start to fill these containers. How long does that take? Um, we we'll try and turn around that reasonably quickly, obviously to keep production moving, yeah, but it could yeah, take yeah. anywhere between half an hour to three quarters of an hour. The operator has another job to do. While that's happening, he's marking all the barrels up. Okay? Right, okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So when these come out of storage, they need all the labels going on and all the different markings to go on. So when, when the, the QC check comes back and everything's okay, you can start to start to fill the containers. Now they're all filled by weight. Yeah, okay. Um, and once the correct amount of material's gone in, of course the, the cap goes in and the seal goes over the top as well. Yes, okay, okay. Okay, so that maintains the integrity of the product in that container. Yep. So when the customer gets it, then it's exactly it's what all it's sealed all. up. It's all sealed. So we have a lot of flexibility in what we can actually fill though. So we can do, although we're doing 205 litre barrels today, yeah. we can go from 250 mil bottles all the way up to row tankers. But the important thing is that we have a batch number on all these different containers for traceability. Okay. So okay. we keep physical samples um, for two years that we can go back and check if okay. we need to. Okay, okay. And that's a lot of samples. It is a lot of samples. And we compete, uh, we, we complete, um, computer records which we also hold indefinitely that we can go back over as well so we've got full traceability on any material that goes out the front door no matter where in the world it goes we can trace back to all those different materials okay okay so once these have been uh, this has been filled and it's been sealed to maintain its integrity then we can actually put it into stock ready for dispatch yeah yeah yeah, so yeah. this kind of ends this part of the process really guy and the next process we'll be looking at is our storage we'll and dispatch process. I'm we'll excited find, to fill it up, Bob. I, I can tell you, Keen, I'm sure we can sort that out right now for Come you. Come on. And then crimp it up. And crimp I'm it excited. Up. Come on.